super old. Also, 2020 has been a year where I've accomplished nothing <laughs> that I planned to, except all these amazing cooking videos. I just woke up, kind of. I woke up very recently, still in my pajamas, I know. I know. What I'm gonna be making today is my own birthday cake. It's gonna be a date cake. It's an Omani date cake. These are not Omani dates, which is sad, but um, where are these dates from? Uh... California, California. And these say California. It's a Californian date cake, lame. My mom used to make a date cake and her date cake was amazing. And all I remember is that it was a date cake with date syrup. So I looked up a date cake recipe. I found this recipe called Samir's Date Cake. It's from a book actually, a book called like Recipes from Oman or something. I'll be linking it below. You, you might have to scroll through to find her recipe, but it's like a Google books that you can, you can go through. You don't have to pay or anything. But what we need to do to get started. Oh, by the way, it's a bunt. It's a date bunt. So you might need a bunt pan. If you don't have a bunt pan, I think you can use a cake pan. I actually read this hack that you can use a cake pan and put an empty can with some beans in the center to like get the whole, I don't know. I'll link that below too if you want to attempt that hack, though I've never tried it so I cannot vouch that it works. Right now I need to put uh, about 30 dates in here and then pour boiling water over it. And these are pitted dates, by the way. So if yours aren't pitted, then take the pits out now. Uh, pour bo boiling water over them. Soak them for an hour and then I'm going to separate a little bit. That'll be my date syrup, but I'm gonna blend them all with an immersion blender. If you have a food processor or a regular blender, I think those will all work. I don't have a food processor, but you know the immersion blender, you'll see it later. It, it does a good job of like liquefying things. So uh, 25 dates is what the recipe calls for. I'm gonna make it 30, maybe even 35 because I want extra for the syrup, which is not part of the recipe. Okay, let's get going. Contains pits. Oh man, I thought I got pitted. Thirty-five. Okay, thirty-five dates. Gonna add the boiling water on top. Oh, this is gonna be hot. Literally. Ah! I'm also contemplating if I should add chocolate and or chocolate chips, like cocoa powder or chocolate chips to this cake. I want it to be a date cake. I don't want it to be like a chocolate cake, but you know, it just sounds so good. I might add chocolate chips to half. I'm thinking about it. I've been thinking about it like since yesterday. Since yesterday. Hi everybody. All right, so our dates have soaked. So I just set the oven to 325. It's heating up and we're gonna use our immersion blender to blend the dates into a puree, separate a little bit that's gonna go on top of the cake, and then grease our bundt cake, finish up the batter, and stick it in, ooh, sorry, that was loud. Stick it in the oven! of applesauce I thought it would be more like syrup mmm it tastes great but it's not gonna work for like the drizzle that I wanted to do on top of the cake well for now I think I'll just use this inside the batter and we'll see how it goes all right so I just reread the recipe and realized that I was supposed to add baking soda to the dates and water when they were soaking now I'm supposed to mix flour, baking powder, salt in a bowl, so I'm going to add the baking soda now. So there will be baking soda and baking powder in this bowl. I don't know if it's going to affect it that it didn't soak with the water. I hope not.
so I'm gonna add more flour just because of all that extra pulpy stuff that we added. <music> It's so weird. It doesn't have a single banana in it. Something about it reminds me exactly of banana bread. Like if I didn't know this was date cake batter, I would say 100% banana bread. Very weird. I don't know. All right, the timer just went off so we can check our cake. Oh. Get my glove on. Oh, it's definitely still gooey in the middle. I'm gonna give it um, five more minutes, I think. All right, so while we're waiting for five minutes, I, okay, while we're waiting for five minutes, I looked up a drizzle recipe and I found one that sounds really good. It's for a date cake. So it's not a date drizzle. It's actually a tahini maple syrup cocoa powder drizzle. Yeah, we're gonna mix half a cup of tahini with three tablespoons each of the cocoa and maple syrup. That's it, just mix it in a bowl. so thick so it's making this a nice thick um, paste <laughs> maybe I'll add a little more syrup actually the recipe said you could add a little water I'm gonna add a little water mmm wow <laughs> it's so good super chocolatey which is what I wanted you know how I was thinking about those chocolate chips it's not too sweet I might add a well I guess the cake's sweet, so I won't add maple syrup. It's not super sweet though, it's just like, it's like a dark chocolate drizzle. It's so good. And the tahini doesn't give it taste so much as that almost like sandy, not sandy, but like dryish texture while it's still liquid, it has like a dry texture. It's so good, it's so good. Ooh. Um, still got a little jiggle to it. I'm gonna give it two more minutes. All right, last check. I hope that it's finally ready. Uh-oh, it's doughy. Ten more minutes. Guys, I cannot stop eating the chocolate drizzle. It's, there's not gonna be any left for the cake. I did add a little maple syrup so that I could get it to be more of a drizzle because it was thicker before, but, um. I just ate a spoonful and <laughs> I need to stop. Save it for the cake. This is hard. I recommend not making this until the last minute so that you are not tempted to eat it. All right, I think it's time. Oh yeah. It looks a lot more like a normal goldening cake. Let's see. That's better. Oh yeah. Nice and cakey. Okay, I'll give it the last two minutes, but I'm confident that it's done cooking. Mmm, so yummy. This is awesome.
Dogs can't take calls. I love you too, honey. No, you. no. This is. Bye, Jar Jar. We're a lawless lot. No life. Do, 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 do.